part we are going to look at decision trees as the name suggests decision trees are based on decisions for different variables so they look like this a decision tree uh, reproductive organs yes no no oversized mandibles yes wings and then worker soldier queen and princess so this is how uh, we find out what it is and we extend the same idea in decision trees to find out a yes no thing and answer our machine learning question now these are decision tree uh, they start with different trees sometimes it's overfit sometimes it underfit what you see is an overfit and if it's smooth then it's a underfit and these three are depicted by using a, a different way now random forest are decision trees uh, uh, which are overlapped on each other so we make different decision trees start with different stuff because when we start something in a decision tree we have to go back and forth in the same variable we are going to see why that happens so if we start a decision tree and we say that sepal length is less than this greater than this then sepal length is less than this greater than this then sepal length is less than this greater than this so we just use sepal length to try to gauge the answer we could use other things as well now there are depth of decision tree and the maximum depth is like the maximum questions that you can ask for for here the depth is like three so we can have different depth and the maximum depth and the minimum depth that is going to predict the target so the target is uh, uh, and if you have more depth then you will then it might be overfitting you will have more zigzag and ensemble model random forest is a collection of decision trees so it's nothing but more collection of decision tree we'll do a hands-on on this using uh, the scikit-learn library uh, using a Jupyter notebook that I have shown here and we are going to read the scikit-learn uh, official description about decision trees and then we will move to support vector machine